Hello everyone, I'm going to be reviewing Hustle. Hustle is directed by Jeremiah Xavier, written by Taylor Merton and Walt Feeters, produced by LeBron James and Adam Sandler, cinematography from Zach McGulligan, uh, uh, music by Dan Deacon, production companies, Happy Madison Productions, Spring Hill Company, and Rotham uh, Kirschenbaum Films, dis distributed by Netflix, uh, released... I released 8th of June uh, on Netflix. The runtime for this was 118 minutes. So it's an hour and 58 minutes. Well, like, it's, it's an hour and 58 minutes. So nearly like a two hour film. Uh, cast is Adam Sandler as Stanley Sugarman. Queen Latifah is Teresa Sugarman. Ben Foster is Vince Merrick. Robert DeVille is Rex Merrick. Uh, John Cho... Hernan, uh, Hernan Gomez is Bo Cruz. Jordan Hall is Alex Sugarman. Uh, Heidi Gardner is Kate Merrick. Uh, Maria Botto is Paloa Cruz. Uh, Anhoa Pillet is Lucia Cruz. Anthony Edwards is Kermit Wilkes. Uh, Kenny Smith is Leon Rich. And Sally S. Graham is young Bo Cruz. Rating in New Zealand, it's R13 for language. And in the US, it's an R for language as well. The genre is a comedy, drama, and sport production. In May 2020, Adam Sandler joined the cast of the film with Jeremiah Zager, written from the screenplay by Taylor Mertrand and Will Feeters, with Netflix yet to distribute. <laughs> in September 2020, Queen Latifah announced she had joined the cast of the film. In October 2020, Robert DeVille, Ben Foster, Juan, uh, Juan Hernan Gomez, Jordan Hall, Maria Botto, and Noah Pillard, Kenny Smith and Kyle Lowry joined the cast of the film. The film began in Philadelphia in October 2020 and continued at the Costaville uh, area high school in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Multiple scenes have been filmed in Center City, Philadelphia, including Market Street, the Italian Market, uh, Mount Young in uh, South Philadelphia. Additional filming was done in Camden, New Jersey. Thoughts? Well... This movie was great. Uh, this was so good. I think the reason why I love this movie is because, one, uh, Adam Sandler, and two, it's about basketball. I just love this movie. Now, I know people will be mixed on this movie, but for I, uh, for me, I think I'm on the good side. I think Adam Sandler's performance was amazing, and then Queen Latifah uh, did a fantastic performance. And then John chose Hernan Gomez, who played Bo Cruz. I think his acting was fantastic. Uh, he did a great job, and the rest of the cast uh, did a fantastic job as well. And then the direction uh, was great as well. I'm so happy that this movie was great because I was so nervous for Adam Sandler's Netflix movies. Because I'm always so nervous for Adam Sandler's Netflix movies, like Hubie Halloween, which was a bad movie. But yeah, great movie, and I had a blast with this movie. And the bad... I think this movie is, uh, I think that the disappointing things about this movie are like the bad guy of this movie. I forgot his name, but I just thought his character was just disappointing. There wasn't really, there was like character plot, well not, there was like not much character, well there was character development, but I didn't really like, you know, like where it was going. I forgot, uh, I already said that, I thought his character was disappointing for me, and I wish it could have been better uh, if it was not, it's not the actor's fault. It's just because of the character development. That wasn't for me. And yeah. I also think that there was just some scenes in the movie. Uh, which I just thought could have got cut off at the film. Because I just did not enjoy the scenes. Yeah that's basically all the, the bad and disappointing. Now to my final thoughts. I love Tussle. I cannot wait to see this movie again. I think people should check this movie out. If you love basketball. Uh, you will like or love this movie. But yeah. I'm so happy how good with how good this movie is, and I cannot wait uh, for another Adam Sandler movie. Uh, my score for this movie is a 4 out of 5 stars. Percentage, I'm giving it an 86%. Rating, right, I'll be giving it a B plus, and out of 10, I'll be giving it an 8.6 out of 10. With Hustle, this is good. It's my number 4 on every movie I saw in 2020. On my 2020 list. Not on 2020. 2022. And... That's my number one favorite Netflix movie of the year so far. So that's bloody good. 
And yeah, I loved Hustle. I think people should definitely check this movie out. Uh, it's a fun time. And yeah, I just really dug this movie. And yeah, like I said, I had a fun time and I really did enjoy it. But thank you for watching. I wanna, I've got to say, we will be right there. Let's just do a Machibi Halloween. Go, we're going way back. I know it's going to be bad, but I'm just going to put that there. Um, the video will be right there. All the Netflix movies I saw, well, 2022 Netflix movies uh, reviewed, right there in the middle will be my icon. Click on it. I will say subscribe. Please subscribe for your massive help. Down below, my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok, um, Letterbox, and my podcast. Uh, and then what else do we have? I like the video. Be a massive help. Turn on post notification bells. So, bells. Bell, I mean, so you never miss a video. And yeah, subscribe, like I said. And that will do. That will do it for my review. Uh, I enjoyed this movie. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.